If you're looking for the best panfish lures, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Blakemore Road Runner Crappy Lore. The unique little road runner jig has been around for decades and has a reputation for catching a multitude of fish, especially big crappies. The lure is available in a wide variety of colors. Body configurations vary, too, including curly tail soft plastic rubs, two lure styles, and ones with channel bodies and wispy marabou tails. The jig also has an oversized hook that makes hooking fish easy. But it's the addition of a small single spinner incorporated into the jig head of the Road Runner that sets it apart from so many other jig designs. The spinner comes in various colors, in hammered or shiny willow leaf and Indiana blade configurations. The spinners are molded right into the jig head with a quality barrel swivel, which allows for easy spinning and holds up to rugged fishing. No less than three International Game Fish Association ICFA world records have been set by anglers using the Road Runner. The most notable crappie is the one-time IGFA 6 pound test world record black crappie of 4 pounds. 8 ounces caught by Alan Pop Jr. from a Nebraska farm pond in June 2003. The 18-1-2 inch crappie took Pop 5 minutes to land. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Lunker City Finesse Fish Crappie Lures. Top Connecticut angler Rich Zelski is a longtime crappie expert and an adamant fan of lightweight finesse fish grub jigs. He uses a whippy 7-foot spinning rod. 10 pound braided line, and a 6 foot fluorocarbon leader to fish for them. His favorite finesse fish grub body colors are chartreuse silk, white satin, and Arkansas shiner. He varies the hues until he dials in the right color for the day he's fishing. He also trims the front part of a plastic grub so that the plastic is flush to a jig head on the hook. I really like spots where a bank has a small landside that includes a vertical tree, some of which don't reach the surface. I'll keep my boat tight to a steep bank in deep water while watching the depth sounder for brush and timber and suspended fish near the cover. The number three position is held by Skipper's Moon Jig. These handmade powder-coated jigs got their start in Wisconsin in the late 1980s, and they are now made in Northeast Florida. They come in a huge variety of colors in 1 8 and 1 16 ounce sizes, with large gap, quality must-add hooks that easily accommodate a minnow or soft plastic grub. Skipper's models have their roots in the ice fishing world, and they are among the most popular styles for panfishing on hard water. Moon jigs have an unusually smooth half-moon shape, which makes them especially well-suited to trolling. Thus, they're ideal for anglers either spider rigging or pulling lures. Veteran crappy team tournament anglers Al and Alan Green are huge moon jig fans. They have scored well in numerous events pulling the lures in double rigs. Their favorite color is buttercup, but the best lure hue varies a lot, even during the course of a day's fishing. They'll rig a wide range of moon jigs off multiple rods, making sure they cover the color spectrum from orange and chartreuse to pink and white. Next at number 4 we have Bobby Garland Moglo slash Stroll R Grubs Crappy Lures. Top angler and Mississippi crappy guy Brad Chappell is a huge fan of long line trolling with tandem rig jigs when fish are suspended in shallow water. He opts for 1 slash 24 ounce models. When fish are deeper, he'll tandem rig the same jig but increase the weight to 1 slash 8 ounce. Color is important for crappies, of course, he says. And I try different ones until I get the right color that fish want that day. My favorites for Stroll RS are Keystone Candy, Bluegill Fire, Granada Gold, Purple Passion, and Double Silver Rainbow. I make sure the Moglo heads I use with them are a totally different color than the bodies. Chapel says the Stroll R is a deadly grub body because it gives off a lot of vibration through its tail which attracts crappies from long range and triggers them to strike. The number five position is held by Swimbait, Storm Wild Eye Swim Shad. Even an untrained eye can recognize the lifelike quality of a rigged swimbait. This lure is essentially a jig, but its distinctive head and soft plastic wrap over the lead makes it a crappy lure like no other. Swimbaits are dead ringers for real baitfish, and they offer a unique lure profile to predator fish. The lure also tends to maintain a horizontal attitude when fished, which best mimics a suspended minnow. They are available in a variety of colors and virtually all have a vibrating tail that draws fish. Swimbaits have taken hold of the base fishing market in a big way, yet for panfish, 
and especially crappies, they are deadly, too. Many companies produce swim baits, but those with smaller sizes and a wide color selection are available from Storm and Berkeley. The number six position is dominated by two blur. Bobby Garland introduced the original Gets It Two Blur in 1964 out of his home in Utah. The little 2-1-slash-2-inch hollow lure with 35 or so wiggling tentacles quickly made a name for itself in clear, deep western reservoirs. Fish with light line and an exposed hook with an internal jig specially designed for the lure, it quickly racked up base. But tube jigs also have proven deadly for many other species, including crappies. In fact, Mark Williamson used a tube lure in March 1998 to secure an 8-foot world 8-pound test line record for black crappie from Lake Logan Martin, Alabama. The fish weighed 3 pounds, 10 ounces. Small, lightweight tube lures perfect for crappies are made by Gitsit in Utah. A number of other companies make tubes, including Jawbone Tackle, Strike King, Big Bite, and others. Base Pro Shops, Cables, and Academy sell crappy-sized tubes, as well as tube lure kits with a wide array of jig weights and soft plastics in a rainbow of hues. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Rapala Original Floating Minnow. This superb and innovative balsa wood plug has been around longer than most anglers who fish it. Over the years, it has racked up a remarkable number of huge fish, including at least two egg for record crappies. Both fish were black crappies, the largest setting a world 12-pound test line record for Cheryl Harris in March 1984 with a 4-pound, four 4-ounce four slab landed from Alabama's Paint Creek off the Coosa River. The second record was a 2-pound egg for Mark weighing 3 pounds, 2 ounces caught by Max Tonier Jr. in August 1986 in Virginia's Chickahominy Lake. The Rapala comes in many colors and sizes suitable for crappies. Lifelike baitfish colors are preferred by many slab seekers, who opt for lure sizes in the 1-1-2, 2-2, and 2-3-4 inch sizes. Because the lure is very light, down to 1-16 ounce due to the balsa wood, scaled down crappy tackle must be used to cast small Rapala as well. The lures run straight and true with a lifelike wiggle and are ideal for trolling. The number 8 position is held by Arabu Jig. It's possible that the simple, basic marabou jig has been used to catch more crappies in more places than all other lures combined. The lure is inexpensive and almost impossible to fish incorrectly. Moreover, it's available almost everywhere, especially those off the bean track bait and tackle shops near fish-rich waters where crappies are king. Marabou jigs designed for crappies have been around for generations, and they still catch fish in big numbers today. They're available in dozens of colors and color combinations with the basic style pretty much the same, ball head jig, channel wrapped body, holding a tuft of fish attracting marabou feathering at the tail. Many such jigs have a tricolor appeal with the head one hue, the channel body a second color, and the marabou tail a third shade. Whether they are trolled, cast, or pushed via spider rigging, marabou jigs have scored big everywhere crappies are found, and they've caught egg for world record fish, including a massive four pound, 8-ounce black crappie taken in March 1981, which set the 6-pound line class record for IGFA. It was boated by L. Herring, Jr. from Care Lake, Virginia while drifting. Next at number 9 we have Inline Spinner. The Inline Spinner has been around for a lot of years and has been responsible for putting countless crappies into boats and buckets throughout the country. Inline spinners are available in hundreds of configurations with varying spinner styles, bodies, blades, colors, and trailers. Time-tested favorites include the fabled Meps Black Fury, Worden's Rooster Tail, and Panther Martin. All are available in lightweight models, ranging from 1-32 to 1-8 ounce. But they are built tough and can handle repeated casting, retrieving, and catching of fish. Most come with a small, sharp treble hook, but they can be modified to a single longer shank hook, which allows for adding a minnow to the lure. Inline spinners have accounted for plenty of heavyweight crappies, including the one-time 8-for-12-pound line class white crappie weighing 4 pounds even. It was caught near Rome, Georgia and Mar, 1980 by Ken Wright on the map's Black Fury. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Mr. Twister Grubs on a jig head. A Mr. Twister 2 Grub on a 1-16-ounce jig head is second on the list of best 9 fishing lures for bluegill and panfish. This is a basic lure that is effective for just about every freshwater and saltwater fish species. These diminutive versions are extremely effective for panfish as well. Jigs are also very versatile and will produce fish in a variety of applications. Colors are endless, but chartreuse is Cap Jim's favorite color. They are also very effective 
When added to a small spinnerbait, Mr. Twister jigs can be cast out to weed lines, docks and trees, and other shoreline structure. The best technique is cast the lure out, allow it to sink, then retrieve it back slowly. Jigs can also be fished vertically over structure in deeper water. Mr. Twister jigs can also be trolled slowly to help locate schools of fish. They are a terrific, cost-effective lure that catches a ton of fish. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.